Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars in Lancaster, PA, and I'd like to take you for a test drive of our 1973 Mercedes-Benz 350 SL. This car is a Euro model car, so it is a true 350. It's a three and a half liter V8. Uh, not sure when it came over to the States, but it's been here for quite a long time. We purchased it from a fellow in Illinois. He had purchased it for his wife in 2006. She enjoyed the car for a year or two, and then it was parked. So it really has been sitting since about 2008 or so. You'll see in the uh, description we do in the showroom, we've done some work on the car. And uh, let me start it up for you. We can go for a ride. Car starts easily. All the gauges and instrumentation are working correctly. Temperature's working. The car's fully warm now. Gas gauge works. Oil pressure works correctly. It is in miles per hour, so the speedometer and odometer are working correctly. It shows 109,000, which is correct and accurate. Tachometer's working. People who know the old SLs, the turn signals are working on both sides, so we don't have any of the grounding issues you sometimes have with these uh, instrument clusters. Horn works, wipers work. The clock is not working. The radio is not working. Probably could be coded, but it's an old radio. Heater blower works. All the slides seem to be working. I was surprised the air conditioning, when you turn it on, the compressor turns, the, the cooling fan goes on. So the compressor is running. Uh, it would probably need more of a charge to actually blow cold. But the compressor control is working and the compressor is currently working. You'll see in the photos there is a star chip in the windshield. Uh, that has been filled a long time ago, it's, but it's there. Uh, so we're selling the car with that. Uh, we're looking into sourcing a windshield, but I can't make a promise that we'll find one in time. So it's being sold with that. It also has a new dash cap that was put on at some point previous to us buying the car. So let's go for a ride in the car. It does drive nicely. I've always found the, uh, to me, the Euro cars have a different drive than the American ones, usually a little crisper. This one, even though it's the three and a half liter, really runs great. Uh, nice and peppy. Transmission shifts smoothly. Nice, smooth, positive shift points. Runs like an old SL. The European model has a different steering wheel, thinner grip. I happen to like it. So if you're looking for something unique in an early model SL combined with the 350 and the Euro model, please take a look at this car. I think it's worth considering. Needs a little bit of odds and ends attended to, but nothing serious. And uh, please ask us any questions you may have. And good luck on the bidding. Thanks for looking.